welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left last time, we were searching around for group members. Uh, there are a few areas. The Frozen Boneyard, I believe, is where we're going to find Amiri. I'm not 100% sure where we find Ekendeo, but I know we find Amiri here, so let's go deal with that right now. Also, the quick save seems to be quick saving again, which is really nice. What are you looking for here, you pariah? There is no place for you in your world, and there won't be a place in my dominion. Get out, witch! When my friends find their way here, we'll pluck off your petals. Your friend? Am I hearing it right? You think any of them are still alive? Keep talking. I don't believe your tales. Why would I lie to you? You are the reason that everyone you care about dies. You get banished from everywhere like the plague. Your soul is poisoned, like an animal gone mad. I will leave you with that. Farewell. All right, let's go find a Miri. Without a doubt. She should be up here unless she's dead, in which case we need to seriously reconsider having a different character in our group. Amiri kneels down at a frozen gravestone, mumbling something quietly. She barely notices you. Amiri, what happened? Nothing. I'm just tired of waiting for you, Chief. That's what. This witch came by, tried to pour some muck into my ears. There's some snakes that, whatever they say, it's it's like a knife in your ribs. Amiri snaps, jumping to her feet. Come to your senses. We need to get going. Like I mind. <laughs> keep going means keep going. I told you, you are my tribe. Together, we'll tear anyone to pieces. Oh good, she is still alive. Okay, let's swap out Rogangar for Amiri then. Alright, we do have all of our characters still alive. I, will guide I honestly didn't know if Amiri was going to make it or not, to be fair. Not so why is Knock Knock moving so incredibly slowly? Is he encumbered? He is definitely not encumbered. Oh, he's sneaking, right? <laughs> that would explain it. My bad. Alright, we need to put gear back on Amiri, who apparently still has a copy of Overmbane. Do we have two copies of that sword now? Did I leave it on her by accident? I must have left it on her by accident. I don't see another copy of it anywhere in my inventory, unless I'm just horribly missing it. So. I guess that's that. We also need Onslaught, which is her armor. And now we need to find some items that are going to work for her. Uh, do we have a... Where's her belt? Wait, where is her? Oh, there it is. There's that belt. Okay, and we'll give her a natural armor amulet, although I don't think it's going to help. Wait, why is her AC 11? Uh-huh, okay. Let's just... Can we go like this and it'll be updated? Yes, okay, good. Alright, so it appears to have updated by itself now, which is odd, but whatever, it's fine. I don't know what's going on with this place. Which is kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna give her that ring. And that is gonna put her up to 33, right? Why did I keep switching away from her? Hmm. There we go. Alright, fine. Now, gloves. Wait a minute, does that mean Knock Knock's gloves would have worked properly, or what was it? Was it a ring? Is it an amulet? Where's that plus 8 dex one? There we go. So, it's at 32 right now. Now it's at 34. Okay, so it does work. Sort of. I don't know why it's exactly doing it this particular way, but it's fine. Everything's fine. It's just slightly messed up. What's this? Plus one? Nope. It's not a bad one by any measure, but it's not going to be useful for us. Let's start by type. And what else do we got here? So we need a cloak. Probably just a cloak of resistance, honestly. And that should put her saving throws up, which it does. It's really weird that I have to like go in and out to make sure it worked. Also, we have a lot of ring of protection plus five. What is this? The Ring of Reckless Courage. 
Oh, right. This is our one of our special rings. Plus four to charisma. No, we're not going to wear it. It's not the kind of ring we need. She needs a ring of greater def Who did I give that ring to? Her. She needs to have a different ring. And a cloak of resistance. So let's give her... There we go. And... We also have the four science bracers. We'll take a look at that in a second. But I need to give her a cloak of resistance. So she doesn't get turned into paste. And maybe some bracers of armor. For similar... Although she is wearing armor, so it doesn't really matter. This one, what does this do? Plus two morale bonus to attack rolls, saving throws, and skill checks. When you become shaken. Yeah, sure, we'll give it to Amiri, why not? Okay, she doesn't have any other bracers that are all that useful for her anyways. And we need to give her that ring that we just took off, which is here. It is annoying that it's not live updating, so we have to kind of like check. Although I guess she doesn't need a cloak of resistance now because she has this cloak, or that ring, sorry. Uh, as for gloves, charisma, strength, and unarmed. Dex, not going to help her too much, although it's going to be better than nothing. And that's really it. Dex it is. She should be at 18 dexterity now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and boots. She needs boots that give her speed. And that will be good, I think. She's 55 speed, 65 speed. Awesome. She is at 40 speed, but that's because she doesn't have onslaught. She's fast enough, though. Let's give her this, some of these dex gloves, because why not? Although I don't think it helps her, because I think she has a plus 8 belt, so that, yeah, that doesn't do anything for her at all. Uh, give her fire and acid resistance. There we go. Bracers, there's no bracers that we have that are any use for her. Uh, main character, though, what are his bracers? Plus 1 on attack rolls with bows, whereas we can give him, uh, where were they? Here somewhere. Death from afar. Oh, these are gloves. What gloves does he have? Oh, right, he has the Star Soldier ones. Never mind. I lied. Uh, but we can give him these bracers. Those were Lindsay's bracers. But Lindsay is not here. No need for this. Okay. Uh, anyways. He can't wear armor. He's got a cloak on. He's fine for rings. Anyone else near need any gear that's sort of missing other than bracers on her? And him... I mean, he's got a robe on, but I guess he could wear these. What's his armor class now? 28 up to 36. That'll help a little. Binding of the Prince. No. And Octavia. Oh, Octavia needs a little bit of gear. Uh, but she's not in... Oh, yeah, she is in our group currently. Okay, so we need to give her some stuff. Uh, she needs an amulet. First and foremost. All level 0 arcane spells become empowered, extended, reach, and maximize. So that is for sure going to be one we're going to use for her, because it's going to just up her uh, cantrip spells, which she uses quite often. Uh, she needs a better belt, which is going to be physical form plus 6 for her somewhere. Giant strength, windfall, divine support, nope. Physical mind strength and con, strength and con, dex and con. Dex and Con's better than Strength and... Oh wait, right. All level 1 and 2 spells are empowered and extended. Let's also give her the... That's really getting annoying. I don't want it! Too bad. She has such low hit points that we gotta be really careful not to let her get hit by literally anything. She will die if a stiff breeze hits her. And we're gonna give her this I Dex Glove like thing. I don't know why you don't like it, but I don't care either. Apparently, people just get mad when you throw items on them in this place. Don't know why. Don't care why. We have better hats for her. Uh, we have a plus, I think, six or eight mental perfection thing somewhere here. Maybe. Where's that helmet? Plus six intelligence and uh, fire resistance, but doesn't give her any wisdom. We also have the headband. You know what? Let's just do that one. I don't like it. Plus six to all major stats, for her anyways. Uh, we'll give her a ring of protection just to try and keep her alive and get rid of her ring of protection plus one. And do we have any other rings that are kind of useful that she could use to maybe save her life? Like that is a pretty good one. Plus four deflection bonus would be okay. Less ring of protection might save her life sometimes. 
she can also get a plus five cloak of I resistance. And we don't have any boots for her, really. That's just going to have to be fine. Don't care too much, I don't think. I do wish that we had a better belt for her, though. So, Knock Knock is using this. It's giving him six con. Is there any other way we can give him more constitution? I thought there was a sneak attack belt or something. I vaguely remember looking at some sort of sneak attack item earlier. Was it an amulet? Ooh, there's an amulet that gives six con. Oh, right, but we're using the one that gives us maximized spells, which is kind of important. Yes, this is the sneak attack one. But it's not really that great, so we won't give that to Knock Knock. Besides, his is better. Hmm. So we got plus eight to dex. Anything else giving him constitution? At all? Wait, why are you wearing a Cloak of Resistance plus three? At the very least, you should be using a Cloak of Resistance plus four. And probably five. <sighs> mm -mm. Smells too nice. Does he have a better hat he can wear? Not really. Okay. Um, I mean, no. What's this hat do again? Yeah, carrying capacity and plus two on all skill checks is pretty good. All right, so we need something to give her constitution that is not an amulet or a belt, preferably. What about a robe? Do we have any armors that give constitution? I don't think so. No, that's a negative six constitution. She will immediately die if we give her negative six constitution. She'll be at two. Um... Hmm. I think we're going to have to leave it as it is. Plus four to wisdom. Plus six to intelligence. Concentration. No, it's not looking great for things that will give her constitution. We could just put, um, you know what we could do? Since I think we actually need to memorize spells on her anyways. Is we can just have a... Sure, magic missile. Actually, Vanish might be okay. But, we can, no, we don't have that spell. Well, that's bad. I was kind of hoping we had, um, not bull strength, but the con one. Bears endurance, I think it is. And grab Baleful Polymorph, because why not? We do have lots of spells that will work technically to keep her alive. Sort of. We really could have done a better job at... She doesn't have any favorite at school spells. We really need to pick some of those up next level if we can get to next level. But anyways, I guess that's it. That's all we can do for the moment to keep her alive. Let's try and keep her at the very back of the group, though. She's definitely not going to be standing there. There's a treasure chest. And Knock Knock is not at the front of the group. Let's make a formation. So we have a, her, Smilodon, Amiri. And then Knock Knock right behind them. Like that. And then Kinera, and then Octavia, and our main character will be like this. It's a person. We made a person formation. Let's go see what we can find in here. Garbage. Super. Alright. So we did grab a Miri. I'm surprised she's alive, honestly. She has 280 hit points. She has almost five times as many hit points as Octavia. <laughs> Even our main character has Almost three times the hit points of Octavia. Octavia desperately needs some constitution, like really badly. How long does Dragon Aspect last? I know we have a bunch you of spells for her. But how long do they last for? Like if I go with this one, Animal Form, which is uh, Strength and Con, but minus Dex, plus a minute level. I was kind of hoping for more than that. Okay, what about uh, Legendary Proportions? Again, a minute a level. And nothing else really will help us at the moment, unless... No, that's not going to help either. Ice Storm's pretty good, but again, not going to help. I really should just get rid of Fireball. In all honesty, we're not going to be casting any Fireballs in this place. Seed Invisibility might be useful. Uh, also, do we have Freedom of Movement? 
don't think we do. We need to grab that at some point. We'll grab some scrolls of freedom of movement. We're going to need all of the freedom of movement we can possibly find. Mage armor might keep her alive. I need... Yeah, whatever. It's fine. She'll be fine. Forwards. I guess what I could do... I do wait. Falter. Check our spells really quickly. We have bear's endurance, right? We do. Let's just get rid of one restoration and grab a bear's endurance. It lasts forever. Well, it lasts one minute per level. Maybe we should grab multiple. But anyways, we can just... Well, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm just kind of torn on how to keep her alive, honestly. Wait a second. Some people aren't under the effects of the sweet lantern. So we need to do that. Bloop. Bloop. I don't know why it's stuck in the inventory or the equipment section there, but that was fair enough. Whatever. Let's go and kill some ghostly apparitions, finally. We have a full group. We should be... Fingers crossed, okay to deal with them. And we spent 15 minutes getting Amiri and getting everyone equipped, so it's time to kill some things. Hopefully people survive. Everyone is above 200 hit points with the exception of our main character. And the very much... I should really give her a different belt. Honestly, I really should. She will die too fast. Just give her like Dex and Con. Stop being annoying. I don't like it. I don't care. You're just gonna keep you alive. She's now at 102 hit points, so that will help her out a little bit. We should see if there's a belt of like a better belt available. Ooh, we didn't save. Saving is so easy here, it's really nice actually. Where are they? Hello, ghosts? Are we we're in a different world, aren't we? I think we are. Our path leads on. I always get so confused as to which exact world we're in. We need to go back through the mist, put the lantern on, and then do stuff. There is a mirror here. We haven't found all of our characters yet, which is a problem, because we definitely need to find all of our characters, and there's loot up here we missed. Where does that lead? That leads to the gates. Sallied back out into the, the... To which gates? He asked, uncertainly. If this leads back out to the storekeeper, we might be able to buy a better stat belt for Octavia. It does. Leads us outside. And Avindra is here. But more importantly, Isili is here. Or Isli, whatever her name is. Uh, she does have tons of items, but does she have what we need? And the answer to that is a firm no. <laughs> Which sucks. What second skin? No. Sage's armor? No. Channeler's rod? This rod grants its wielder the ability to make up to three kinetic blasts that cast per day quickened as though using the quickened spell feat. Actually, not bad. Watchman. That's a really nice longbow. Or composite bow, I should say. Is it better than the one we're wearing? No, not really. Kind of. It's sort of... So-so. Light of Valor. Is it better than our current sword? No. Our current sword's way better. Composite short bow is pretty nice. It's got Feybane, but we don't have anyone that uses those. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like she has any belts, though. That is... Oh, wait. We wanted freedom of movement spells. I will literally buy all of them, because I want all of them. Alright, this may lead us to where we want to be, or we have to go through the fog and then kill the ghostly apparitions. It's sort of confusing. This this particular map gets really convoluted at times. Oh, we can change our group every time we come in and out. Fancy. Oh, now we're in the basement. This is not where we want to be, and we can't get out of here at the moment. So, yeah. This is going to be very unfortunate for us. <laughs> Let's go take a scout around, because we're going to need to. I don't remember exactly which part of the basement we're in, or how to get out of it safely. It looks safe up to this point. Let's go this way. We're looking for one thing in particular that we don't want to meet. That is the thing we don't want to meet just yet. We don't want to meet the Nurly Witch at the moment. Um, 
Okay. I'm gonna open this door really quickly. I don't know if this door that this leads to. It needs a key. Okay, so we can't go in there anyways. Uh huh. I need my rogue to continue looking around. This looks safe ish. Just for now. Okay, there's nothing here except some loot. And we'll see what happens over on this other side. If we try and open this door, it also needs... Well, it's just locked. We didn't try and lockpick it, apparently. There is ghostly guards up here. At least one. So let's gather our party here. But we're not going to fight them yet. I just want to see if we can find a way out first. Looks like we're approaching the end of a hallway. With what appears to be some sort of open chamber, which might lead upstairs. It does. Okay, so this will lead us to freedom, assuming we can get past this ghostly guard squad without dying. Alright, let's do this thing. We have a pretty solid group. We have our main core group here. Uh, I'm gonna put Knock Knock over here. We're gonna start the combat like this. Oh, I can't I'm see. Going, I'm going. Here. We'll move. Okay, we'll start it like this. This gives us a chance to cast spells and do things that will keep us alive. I don't know how many ghostly guards there are. And I also don't know where this wall is going to end up being. Actually, that worked out pretty much where I wanted it to be. Awesome. Just delay. Just delay. And just delay. Let them come to us. Or just stay on the other side of that. Knock Knock is stealth. He's actually pretty safe for the moment. There are three ghostly guards. Alright. Now, we do have lots of spells at our disposal currently, including some pretty nifty ice spells, but we're gonna smack our own group if we do them, and it deals a lot of damage. It is all creatures, so you can definitely hit your own party. Uh, what else can we do? We can haste, which is always good. Because of searing. Oh, I can't reach him. Doesn't matter. Let's just haste then. Knock Knock is not going to be hasted. But that's fine. Um, we are going to cast. They're going to cast a bunch of, um. spells to try and fear us around a bit. Although resistant bonuses to saves are not going to work very well. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh yeah, this is a surprise round. We can't do anything. Alright. Canera's turn again. She's up first. We are going to cast her... Folly down spell. They can't be knocked down even if we had it selected, which we do. And it does zero damage to them. Right, I forgot. They are immune to earth damage because they are so... speedy or whatever. That being said, they are not immune to being torn to shreds by a Smilodon. Which did a bunch of damage. We're just going to delay till after. And we're going to attack. No, that's not what I meant to hit. I meant to hit five foot step, not move around like an idiot. Okay, Octavia is primed to attack. Let's see if she can do some damage with her normal attack here. She did three damage, which is really, really bad. We need to use some better abilities. Are they, immune to, they might be immune to sneak attack. I'm going to walk around the wall of fall downness over to here, even though Knock Knock can't attack yet. And we're going to use Searing Light, or Flame Strike, sorry. We can hit all four of them without hitting our own group members, but they all evaded because they have extremely high evasion. And we've hit one. Okay, we need to cast some good spells here. We can do an AoE fan of flames if we move up, but it's not going to do... Well, you know what? It might do okay. Let's try it out. It did nothing because they all dodged it, I'm pretty sure. What is their reflex? Their reflex save is plus 38. That is actually insanely high. 
That explains why we are not able to do any of our reflex saving abilities, because the reflex saves are insane. Now we're gonna five foot step very carefully so that we don't run away again. And Octavia, assuming she doesn't get feared, is gonna cast Searing Light on that one. We did a fair amount of damage. We did 39, 49, 66 damage is not terrible. But she is our buffer. She is not as good of a buffer as Lindsay is. Admittedly, losing Lindsay is a pretty substantial blow to our group. Ragongra might technically be better for our group because... Well, no, because he's melee and we already have lots of melee people around. Kind of makes it a little bit dangerous. I'm just going to shoot. I really can't do much else because all my spells are reflex related. And we can do a little bit of damage at least. Maybe it would be worth to get the other bow. It is holy, so it does extra damage. And the mirror shot doesn't do anything. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a ghostly mage guard. Those are annoying to the extreme. That's okay, though. We didn't quite kill that one. Uh, so we're not going to use any abilities that give reflex saves. We're just going to shoot that one. We did miss our attack, but that's okay. Uh, we'll try and kill it off. Should be almost dead. Alright. Things are looking alright for this fight. Unfortunate that we missed the last couple attacks there, but that's fine. We're going to switch up our cantrip spell, actually, to fire or ice, whatever the other one is. See if that helps us out in this situation. It did not. It is empowered to maximize, but it's not dealing a sneak attack damage. Because I don't think technically we have sneak attack on them. That is a really bad thing to have happened, but oh well. Who all failed their saving throws. That's probably a good question. Uh, it looks like Valerie might be feared, Amiri might be feared, and Knock Knock is feared for sure. Amiri's definitely feared. Luckily we cleared this room and it is safe. Is they gonna reflex it? No, it is just straight up damage. And we missed all of our attacks. Valerie is feared and is going the way wrong way with that fear. Let's hope that she doesn't die or do anything stupid like pull something. I'm tempted to use that on that wizard. I wonder if we can make it into range. Uh, I think we're just out of range, unfortunately. So we can maintain sneak attacks for several rounds, four of them it looks like, but we'll deal with that later. Let's see what we got for spells here. Polar Ray, is it in range? And it didn't do anything, because it's concealed, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It is a ranged touch attack after all. That is annoying. Nope. Bye, Knock Knock. I don't know where you're going, but it's nowhere near the fight, apparently. I think we're still going to be okay to win this fight, it's just going to be kind of an annoying end because all of our good damage people are busy running around like idiots. And she is still feared, so... The chances of her actually getting into combat again are fairly low. We'll see though. We need to finish off this guy. There we go, he is dead. And now we need to get past our own death thing. Alright, Valerie's on her way back, maybe. The thing that did the spell to her is dead, so hopefully she'll come back. Um, how is the range so much smaller on that one than the other one? We really can't stand in that attack, because that will kill her pretty fast. Knock Knock may be able to come back. 
Yes. Next turn, I'm just going to get the charge over with. There, or the uh, knockdown over with. And we're going to move up and cast heal. There we go. And it casts cloud kill, which is annoying, but not super important. Oh no, It's she's feared again. She's gone instantly. We need to move this attack so that it's not going to cause us as many problems. Let's move it up to here. Alright, now we just have to get past the wall version of it, which shouldn't last too much longer, honestly. We could have also just gotten rid of it entirely, but such is life. She is going to make it into range. Yes, alright. So we're good. Now we can kind of deal with this whole problem. I wonder if she can hit with the uh, Scorching Ray from here. We did 18, 30... 18 plus 30 plus 24 damage. Pretty good. Um, it is injured. But not dead. We'll start shooting at it. I might go buy that bow once we're able to get back outside. And the reason is, it's pretty extra, It's probably pretty good compared to his current bow. The additional arrow is nice, but it's not doing any damage. Also, I'd really like to not have 100,000 cloud kill- Come on, Amiri. Come on. Twenty-one damage, and Valerie may be able to finish this off. There. All right, let's get everyone out of the spells over here where it's safe-ish, and everyone just got some con damage from Cloud Kill, which I can easily get rid of. I think. Who else has con? Everyone? Everyone except for Amiri and Knock Knock, strangely enough. Actually, I don't really care if Valerie has some con damage. What is it, one? Yeah, whatever. She lost a little bit of hit points. She'll be fine for now. Do need to give Octavia the con thing, though. She'll die. <laughs> Alrighty. So once this thing wears off, we can quickly loot this room and then go back upstairs. That's going to be our goal. And hopefully we can make it back outside. There's nothing in here. What a dumb guard room. Alright, so upstairs we go. There are going to be more annoying fights, or fights in here. More annoying fights. There really are. What was I going outside for again? Other than to rest? Oh, right, to buy that bow. Alright, we made it back out to here. The doors, the gates are over here. Let's go buy that bow. It does do holy damage, which might be really useful against ghosts, especially. And his mirror shot is not doing literally any damage. It is kind of pointless to keep firing arrows that do nothing at all. It's just kind of disappointing. I still have con damage. We'll deal with that when we get outside as well. Alright. Let's go buy this bow and then we'll call it a video. Without a doubt. Hey, you Jubilus and Raganga are out here too. Should I? What are these strange books you're selling? Some creative souls in our world prefer not to waste time on words and so they write feelings directly into the books. So why not? I've read the feelings of uniqueness to tatters. There. There. Told you. Said so. Books steal. Think thoughts. All of them. You believe me now? Sure. Show me your words. I mean, I'm kind of curious to see what the Book of Incredible and Scandalous Parsimony does. <laughs> the book is empty and shows you nothing, but there's some scribbling on the first page. If you paid that much money for a knick-knack, you are anything but parsim parsimonious. I see. Anyways, we're buying that bow. Where did that bow go? The Watchman? Yes. So this is a plus five holy bow. It does 2d6 points of damage against all creatures of evil alignment. Which is going to be considerably more damage than our current bow of shooting useless nothing arrows all the time. This. It is also composite and plus five like our other bow was. 
It also glows. It's all glowy. The thing about this one, like the reflection arrow with 1d6 plus half the strength bonus, which is fine, um, with our 18 or 20 strength, it's okay, but it's not doing any damage because of the damage reduction, so the holy damage will be a lot more in that regard. So that's where we're going to end off right here. We're going to call it a video. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. We will deal with whatever comes up against us next time. Take care.